around the state, youth in government operates on this concept that democracy must be taught to each generation. And what that means is that each generation must be taught about how democracy works, specifically within their state, and how they can be empowered to make the relevant changes. We can leave it up to each student to learn in their history classes, but that experiential component has proven invaluable to getting many of our students engaged in their own communities. Uh, Indian Youth in Government gives kids the practice they need to find their voice, but I think more importantly gives them the confidence to be able to stand up in front of a group of people and share their opinion and share their voice. Uh, you have the conversations in the classroom, but that isn't always going to get them where they're going to make a change in some public policy or some grand issue. At our regional organizational meetings, we're looking to inspire them, motivate them, as well as breaking off into workshops and helping delegates to understand the content of the program. It could be something like writing a bill or understanding oral arguments for a case, as well as working on how they present themselves. We look at helping youth understand inequity in their own lives and inequity in their own communities and the fact that they have an active voice right now. For teachers, especially in social studies, we teach content, we teach ideas, we teach thoughts, but we don't get to see it in practice. There's actually this personal reward when you get to go down and actually see the kids put those textbook ideas in place. So this is a totally student-run program. The governor is a student. The committee chairman are students. All the leadership is students and the teachers, advisors, supervisors, the chaperones, we all sit in the back. We're not really allowed to say anything. It's very empowering for them. This is a minimal amount of money that our school puts into to give kids empowerment in an academic sense. I'm the president of our Leaders Club at the Y. And so I was like really interested in this because I'm a person who's like kind of publicly scared of speaking and talking to other people. When I go to these things, it makes me get out of my comfort zone. As a judge, I try to get the attorneys to admit something's wrong. Eventually they're going to get to their side, but I want them to understand that I'm going to call you out on this. You're not going to hide this from me. It's really not hard to convince other people into this program once you tell them about all the people you can meet, about all the people you can talk to. Most people hear the word government and they're like, uh, oh, politics, where it's actually a really nice program where you get the opportunity to meet people that might change your life forever. It helps them engage uh, and get involved in their communities and stay that way. It helps them think about ways to solve problems and do policy research and, and, and figure out what's really going on. Uh, and, and to learn how the state house really works. It puts the kids in a situation where uh, they're going to be with people who see things from a different point of view. So when they get up to present their bills, uh, not everyone's going to agree with them. Uh, and the first time that happens, that's shocking. Like, well, I've put work into this. I really think this is the best idea. There's so many people who are opposed. How could they be opposed? And it forces you to, to think in a different way. Uh, and if you want to be successful, you've got to try to understand where those opponents are coming from uh, to see if you can find middle ground and still accomplish your goal while, while addressing their concerns as well. And you said, you know, less yelling and, and more talking. That's exactly right. I think this program teaches people to respect each other, uh, to engage in discussions while disagreeing, but still being respectful and working toward a common solution. Awesome. And that's a powerful lesson for these students. When I started out in the program, um, my delegation was four people. Um, I fell in love with the program um, when I went to organization day the first year. And then when I went to the conference, it was so amazing because it was the first time that I met people who were different than me, had, had different opinions than me, and I, I began to learn to have an open mind. The youth governors in previous years did a really nice job of making everybody feel included, and that really kind of inspired me to be in that position of being a servant leader. When a kid signs up for the Indiana YMCA Youth and Government Program, they are signing up, one, to learn about Indiana government. They're signing up for the opportunity to express themselves through bill writing or oral arguments. But then there are those kids who sign up to be elected or appointed to certain leadership positions, and they're signing up for a bit more. The end goal is that they run the conference. As adults, we step aside, we let them run it, we let them handle all challenges. They have to be mentored, they have to be trained, they have to be prepared, they have to learn time management, they have to learn uh, interpersonal skills, um, they have to learn about self-reflection. Really the inspiration that I personally get from just seeing everybody at this young of an age and remembering being in that moment and really having that moment to just shine, show yourself who you are, what you believe in. When I come here and I see that at this young of an age, it really does inspire 
even the older generations. Indiana YMCA Youth and Government, it aims to get them engaged now as they see the change they're able to make and as they get to know their communities that much better, that affinity is fostered. And I think in the long run, it'll help to encourage them to, to stay, or at least to come back. Youth in Government is a great example of how much more the Y is than Swim and Gym. I mean, we're making an investment in our future. We're making an investment in our citizens. You know, we're doing the equipping, the encouraging, the influencing now, but I think the real impact will be understood years from now when we see what these kids have gone on to do. Again, whether it's elected or an appointed positions in government or you know, through the medical field or education field or what have you, we'll know that this program played an important role at uh, creating these individuals and helping them to engage their communities in their selected paths.